Greetings, noble seekers of truth and enlightenment. Today we invite you to delve into the mysteries of the universe, exploring the depths of occult knowledge and the potentials of the magic that resides within each of us. Together, we shall unveil the wisdom that can transform your existence and elevate you to new spiritual heights. If this journey resonates with your spirit, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications so you won't miss any teachings. Always remember, every man and woman is a star. It is said that Artius, a notable hermetic philosopher, created a Kabbalistic magnet capable of capturing the aura or mystical spirit of vitality and growth from young men, thereby channeling this essential energy into his aging body through breath infiltration or other secret methods. Although this notion seems far-fetched, it may have some merit if considered with empathy. The Rosicrucians are known for zealously guarding their mysteries, often communicated through riddles and allegories. They embraced a principle from an early Christian Gnostic member, learn to know everything, but remain unknown. Humanity grapples with deep mysteries about existence and destiny, questioning the continuity of life after death, the independence of mind and thought from the physical body, and the potential of unexplored human faculties and how to activate them. The roots of the Rosicrucian order trace back to ancient Atlantis, whose wisdom was passed down to the early Egyptians and preserved through oral tradition and texts to this day. Established in medieval Europe, the order aimed to explore the mystical aspects of Christianity and introduce Eastern mysteries and philosophies in a manner digestible to the Western intellect. Over the centuries, they have accumulated a wealth of knowledge that remains practical to this day, while theoretical aspects, if not practically applicable, are archived as esoteric teachings and explored philosophically rather than scientifically. The Rosicrucians, like the Freemasons, recognize a supreme architect of the universe. However, for the Rosicrucians, the term universe specifically denotes a sun and its orbiting planets, while Cosmos describes the vast multitude of such universes scattered throughout space. They believe in a supreme architect or an absolute consciousness that governs all these realms. This supreme entity does not dispense favors upon request, but has endowed humans with innate abilities and powers to navigate the challenges imposed by their own ignorance. The Rosicrucians maintain that communication with higher beings is possible, but only for individuals who have significantly evolved their consciousness. These higher beings do not need to manifest physically, but can interact with those who are spiritually attuned. Space is filled with entities of various levels of consciousness, some incarnated and others not. True Rosicrucians understand that these entities are willing to help humanity whether they are in physical form or not. All humans possess the potential to elevate their consciousness and engage with these higher entities, with the extent of such interaction depending on the development of their consciousness. They describe the functioning of the mind through three facets, the objective mind, the subjective mind, and the superconscious mind. The objective mind operates our voluntary actions and interfaces through the cerebrospinal nervous system, managing our thoughts, perceptions, and memories. Conversely, the subjective mind, operating through the sympathetic nervous system, governs our involuntary actions and is linked to our emotions, intuitions, and unconscious desires. The superconscious mind represents the highest state of consciousness, acting as the channel between the objective and subjective minds, and is the key to our spiritual experiences, creativity and inner guidance. These three aspects of the mind are thought to reside in distinct regions of the brain, the objective mind in the brain, the subjective mind in the cerebellum, and the superconscious mind in the medulla oblongata. 
The brain deals with present consciousness, the cerebellum connects with past experiences, and the medulla oblongata integrates past, present, and future perceptions. The superconscious mind remains the zenith of consciousness, orchestrating the union of body and soul, and serving as the medium for spiritual expression. According to Rosicrucian philosophy, human beings are composed of body, soul and spirit. Mastering the challenges of life and fulfilling one's destiny depends on the harmonization of these three minds into a unified whole. This integration is intricate but fundamental for those who seek to maximize the potential of their lives and explore their true capabilities. The objective mind is rational used for thinking and decision-making. The subjective mind is emotional, fueling our deepest feelings and desires, while the superconscious mind, as the apex of consciousness, facilitates spiritual connections and creative insights. To merge the three minds into a unified and singular consciousness, we must first master them individually. Techniques such as meditation, mindfulness, and dream analysis are essential to gaining a complete understanding of the functions of each mind. With a solid understanding of the objective, subjective, and superconscious minds, we can begin their integration into a cohesive whole. This effort, referred to as the great work in Rosicrucian terms, represents a lifelong commitment that offers profound rewards. Achieving mastery over these minds allows us to function deliberately within any of the three areas, transforming us into fully conscious beings with access to the immense wisdom and capacities of the superconscious mind. The Rosicrucians teach that success in the great work depends on the proper application of will and techniques to control the glands, brain and mind. The will is the catalyst for transformation, empowering us to focus, overcome obstacles and achieve our aspirations. The glands are crucial to our physical, emotional and mental health. Managing them can boost our health, vitality and mental acuity. The brain, as the vessel of our consciousness, can be enhanced to increase concentration, memory and problem-solving abilities. Finally, managing the mind our collective thoughts, emotions and experiences leads to increased peace, clearer thinking and emotional balance. The Rosicrucians emphasize that the great work transcends individual pursuits. It is a means to contribute positively to society and improve the global community. By aligning and harmonizing our three minds, objective, subjective and superconscious, we not only become more empathetic, understanding and loving, but also more impactful catalysts for change. This approach is based on the belief that the mysteries of the Trinity are not external, but reside within our own physical beings. Nature itself operates in a triadic manner, and the task of the occultist is to synchronize their evolved capacities with the broader forces of nature. In doing so, they uncover profound truths about life and death, recognizing that what we perceive as death is merely a transformation from one state of matter to another within the infinite cycle of life in the cosmos. They come to understand that the mind can function independently of the physical body, connecting with other physical and non-physical entities. For the occultist, time dissolves into the concept of eternal duration, a continuous thread connecting all forms of life, from the smallest organisms to the largest celestial bodies. As occultists awaken and develop the latent faculties within themselves, they gain access to a mystical world where they can intentionally influence both internal and external realities. This journey to awakening is challenging but possible for those committed to the rigorous discipline required for such profound spiritual and mental development. 
Dear seekers, we have reached the end of another journey of knowledge and enlightenment. I hope the lessons shared today inspire you to further explore the mysteries of the universe and the hidden power within each of you. Always remember the sacred words, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Until next time. 93.